Hey Grant, no machining videos today, so we haven't had a lot of projects to do on the lathe lately, but I wanted to give you an update on the Camaro project, so I'll give you the walk around. All right, so what we have right now is my 1973 RS Z28 Camaro, not numbers matching. Uh, it has a ZZ4 in it currently, and what I've done is I've started stripping it down for a Pro Touring build. So, you can walk over and you can see that there's nothing inside. It's been completely stripped out. Mostly stripped out. The dash is still there. And then if we come around to the front, you'll see that the whole front end is off the car. The radiator and everything like that. There's the front subframe. That only goes halfway back on the car. So what we're about to do is separate the body of the car from the whole subframe so we can roll the front subframe out. So we'll look over here, we've got our pile of interior parts. There's some exhaust and some uh, drive shaft over there. Let's see here, here's a pile of other interior parts and radiators and all sorts of stuff there. All right, and then over here, you can see we took the front end off of the car in one piece. So we just unbolted the bolts holding the whole front clip on, took the hood off, which is over there. Took the whole front end off with about three people. We just picked it up and took it off. Top tip, if you try to do this, remember to take the front wheels off, otherwise the wheel tubs will snag and then you'll have to wrestle with it. So what's going back in its place of what we're taking off is right here. We've got here is a Speedtech Extreme subframe, which is gonna replace the existing subframe. We've got a T56 transmission, we've got a quick time bell housing, and then we've got this LS3 block, which has been stroked to 415 cubic inches. It's got some trick flow heads, 10.8 to one, all forged internals. Uh, it's gonna be spec to do about 7,500 RPM. Uh, so it'll be used normally aspirated, mainly for autocross and road racing. Do a quick walk around. So because we're gonna be spinning at such a high RPM, we've got an underdriver pulley down there at the bottom, which is what the white circle is. And we've got this nice Jones manufacturing steering pump in there. And the main thing we're looking about getting with this subframe is much better handling and also we'll be able to put much larger tires on there. And I'll show you a comparison of what we're gonna do here in a second. Okay, here's a comparison of the tires. It has a 215-65-15 on there, which is on the original stock steel wheels. And over here is the tire that we're gonna do all four corners. So it's gonna be replaced by 315-3018. So a significantly larger amount of rubber on the front and the back of the car. All right, so you can see right now that I have the lift arms on the front on the pinch welds right there in the middle. And so what I'm gonna do is I've unbolted the subframe and the engine and the front wheels and everything from the car and I've unhooked all the tubes and hoses and wires and dropped the transmission, at least dropped the, the uh, drive shaft out. So in theory now, if we just come over here and we raise the lift up a little bit, go so now you can see that the whole front of the car has been removed from the body so now we're just gonna make sure that we don't have any additional things hooked up and we're gonna roll this thing out it turns out that I had forgotten the starter solenoid wire so we've got that taken off and now you can see we've lifted the front end of the car significantly high up in the air and now it's even cleared the shifter so Everything is good to go. You take a quick walk around. You can see that the subframe arms are just kind of hanging out under there. You can see the transmission back in the transmission tunnel. I've already rolled it forward a little ways. What we're going to do is go ahead and pull that sucker out of there. And then we've got some work to do on the firewall. I'll take that heating and AC stuff off there and probably do new brakes and things like that. So more work to come.